one. Drop it like a lot. Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons and Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, we are live and we are happy to announce this week's winner of our giveaway the giveaway for a beaky owl bear miniature um i swear i did not doctor this uh the the winner is melissa uh reaver and she was the one that asked for the giveaway Yay! it's kind of crazy <laughs> Congratulations. Um, we had more than one entry so <laughs> i swear we did <laughs> how many entries did we have uh, we had 112, uh, 112 entries, yeah. and she won. So congrats, so Melissa. Congrats, congrats, Melissa. Okay, so we are in the process of uploading all previous episodes of Mistakes Being Made back up to Twitch. Um, we will be airing these on Sundays as a rerun, so if you want to catch up or have nothing to do, uh, feel free to check them out. Um, you can also check our shows out on uh, YouTube. Um, you can... Find us on social media. Uh, if you have any questions about how to reach us, you can get in contact with us um, at our on our. The easiest way to get in contact with us is uh, through the pinned tweet on our Twitter page, uh, MBM RPG. It has all of our contact information. Uh, additionally, we'd like to give thanks to the following people for their support and inspiration. Uh, thanks to Axe and Shield for your amazing combat risers, which are, will be used in the game session tonight. Uh, thanks right. to Dwarven Forge, which is used every week um, <laughs> for their amazing dungeon terrain. Thanks to Sirenscape, which is currently playing, although you probably can't hear it that well, um, for their amazing soundscapes. Uh, lastly, uh, let's get to know the players and their characters. Mike, who are you playing tonight? I am still playing Cirque, a half orc barbarian, currently the navigator. No, not the navigator, the helmsman. helmsman. Helmsman of the crew. Of the crew. Of the Tempest Temptress. And Doug? I'm playing Xenos High Hill, the captain of the ship. Okay. And uh, wizard. And wizard. Um, Frank? I am playing Rin, Furbolg Druid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what I'm playing. Exactly. And what, he has a belief, right? A what? A belief? Doesn't uh, yes, Ren survival have a, of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. He's also the sailing master on the ship. And I am the navigator. Yeah, the navigator, and uh, he has a catchphrase: "Survival of the fittest." And survival of the fittest. <laughs> and I'm Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Remember this time, I am playing the chosen champion at Vemberley, but you'll know him as the lovable Sarsarel, the submerged <laughs> half elven cleric, who has uh, who has not died successfully, not died three times so far. <laughs> <laughs> Howard reminded me that the last three times that they got into combat, he got one shot. <laughs> so, hopefully tonight will be no different. Let's get into it. <laughs> hopefully tonight I remember. So, that I got up to zero. I got um, there were questions <laughs> about why the party is doing what they're doing. They might have been from cast members. <laughs> so I figured that it would probably be a good idea to recap uh, a little bit more than what I usually do. I so mean, let's be frank about it. <laughs> So the, the party learned um, of potential treasures that a goblinoid force named the Legion of the Ember Flame was interested in when they were looting the body of a hobgoblin named Vwook. Uh, one of the uh, descriptions of the locations matched a dream that Sarsarol had about an island with a ruby red beam of light shooting into the sky. The notes regarding this island uh, said that it was the realm of Lord Rundines. Uh, the party set off on search for treasure and fought aquatic and aerial threats. Uh, when the party landed on the island of Larath, they found that the, ob uh, that the island was off-puttingly inactive. Uh, they saw the, the ruby beam from Sarsarel's dreams, and a mix of slaves and bullywugs greeted them and took them to meet Lord Rundeis, That which is where we left off. So, before you floats a giant rotund ball of undulating purple flesh. A singular eye gazes in your direction, and a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth uh, is fixed in a grinning sneer. Scaled eye stalks shoot out in all directions, constantly turning to take everything in. As it settles at, into its desired height, Several metallic balls float from the hole and orbit the creature uh, 
making small humming and whirring noises. The creature opens its mouth to speak, and a high-pitched voice booms, Welcome to the Isle of Lurath. Tell me, pink ones, what brings you to my domain? So at this point, uh, whoa, Zenos... Whoa, whoa. Hold on. I have a plan. Zenos uh, turns to Corvin. No. And, um... Corvin, who is several... Well... I, I give him the signal to go away. and get the sh him, for him, and um, my first mate to go get the ship ready for you know, a quick getaway. <laughs> get away should it be necessary. Okay. The, the bullywugs that escorted you here don't appear to be um, willing to let that happen. Oh well, I tried. Okay. Let Adam know that I tried to save his character. And it <laughs> happened. Sure did. Okay. I just I look at him and go the wind. Oh That's my gosh! Here. Wait, <clears throat> what? It's true. The wind brought us here. Actually, no. Uh, we were um, we were tracking some hobgoblin pirates that had uh, left didn't a ask note. Why we were here? That they were uh, potentially going to plunder this lovely island. Boat. Oh, the <laughs> we're the we're the crew on a uh, humble fishing. Boat. So, you're you're a fisherman. Yes. And you're bringing fish to my island. What's your no, no. deception check? We are Everyone's fishing. been telling me it's a fishing boat for the whole voyage. It's not a pirate ship, it's, it's a fishing boat. It is a retired pirate captain. But you're not a gym. fisherman. I said it's a fishing boat. He just asked if you're a fisherman. And you said yes. Well, I work on a fishing boat. Fine. <laughs> He's what captain. do I know about this thing? Oh! Let's make some checks. <laughs> Who's trained in Arcana? Oh, I am. Oh. I am not trained in Arcana. That would be a 22 Arcana. 22 Arcana. So you They're know that this is a beholder. Yeah. Survival. Its eye stalks can shoot eye rays. Yeah. You also um, know that the sensation that you currently feel where your jacket was super nice and now is not super nice um, is uh, an aspect of its eye ray, as it has a no singular no cone um, on you. Um, there is no magic that functions. So if you were to cast a spell or try to use a magical item, nothing, nothing happens currently. Okay. Um, so it has several eye beams. Um, it is also not native to the world. Okay. Um, so. The there are a couple of clues that have um, been placed sporadically around this. One is the ruby red beam that that shoots into the sky. That's not typically Natural. naturally <laughs> founding. It could yeah. be magical. Um, there's also the door that it came out of the um, spiraling open hatch um, that it floated out of, and then there appears to be metallic. What we would consider cameras whirring around it, okay. um, but but you wouldn't necessarily know what those are. Okay. Um, this place is unnatural. It is definitely it, unnatural. Yes, that. That's um, bothersome. So, uh, no, we, we, we come bringing uh, information about uh, Hobgoblin Pirates might be coming in your direction. And if you'd like, like us to catch some fish for you, we'd be happy to do so. For, I'm sure, a small fee we can negotiate. Um, it says... I am the master of this island. This is my domain. As you are now in my domain, you are my subjects. So if you do not please me, um, things will not go well for you. And it closes the central eye, and it um, one of the beams, uh, one of the eye socks fixes on you. OK. Um, and do you want to make a saving throw, or do you want to let this happen? <laughs> uh, I'll make a saving throw. Oh, you're going to make a saving throw. Okay. Um, so it reaches out uh -huh. with one of its beams, yes. and you can go ahead and make a strength saving throw. That's not really your thing, is it? No, wizards have really good strength. That's a 16. Oh, okay. So That's pretty good. You That's feel a... yourself start to lift off the ground, but you are able to fight it off. Okay. And he says... Interesting. You are now in my domain. So. <laughs> you said that already. You have heard that. Yeah. We, we came as good neighbors from a neighboring island to provide information about your safety and security. Um, have you seen the Hobgoblin Pirates? 
<coughs> what would seen? please you? What's up with the big red glowing light that's coming up and shooting into the sky? Oh, that is a that is a power source. The power this place source isn't natural. You've said that. I know. Um, I have We're seen. We're in a loop. Yeah, I have <laughs> seen, it, it looks. At, it looks at you, Mike. It looks at uh, shipwreck, and it says, "I have seen goblins here. We have goblins on this um, on this island." Do you want us to kill them? No. Oh. They entertain. Oh. Um, goblins are entertaining. And no one leaves this. They are this, very entertaining when drunk. No one leaves this island without entertaining. That's just the nature of things. So you can entertain, and if you if you win, he had a nightmare, a dream. It's um, my destiny to be here. If you win my favor, destiny, so. you may proceed with whatever brought you here in the first place. Take it up Clearly, it is not what this small well, pink one's story is. I'm the captain, and I'm telling the truth. Well, on our ship, we have a few games that we play. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Yeah. Corbin's really good at him. We have a you're few games shoot. called Pirate Darts. You're gonna teach. You play pirate darts with him? No, with he would be no with the bully wugs. The bully wugs. The bully wugs. We have a game where we do a test of strength. Mm. Um, we using barrels, shards of glass, and usually it's on fire. Mm. <laughs> usually. Well, the few times I've played it, it was on fire. So okay. Usually, usually it's yes, on fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if that was or by accident. we or drink <laughs> until someone throws up and passes out. Hmm. These are interesting games. Or we can also do sailing competitions. You look sure. strong. Yes. Um, how about I don't kill this pink one? That would be good. If, <laughs> appreciative, yes. If you win a test of strength. Wait, what? Okay. Who and why and how? Um, why is to save my life? But go ahead. <laughs> um, if you best my champion, Rot Gut, the pink one lives. Okay. I'm Where's not your sure champion? I like these stakes. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be he'll be out soon. Okay. Um, Do you accept? I don't accept for what it's worth. Best him how? Uh, trial by combat. Okay. So, um, Doug, you you're not accepting. So I, no, you not could for, you you could um, propose a counter offer. Um, my counter offer is let us teach your bullywugs some of our um, fine pirating games, and then we shall be gone. We've shared with you the information we came to share with We're you. We're not gonna be gone. We still have <laughs> destiny to achieve here. Yeah, it's called say, life on I the seas. <laughs> Sarsarel says this. <clears throat> oh, so Method Manor suggests uh, we play a uh, feat of his favorite test of strength is halfling tossing. No, <laughs> you're not tossing. I mean, the you captain. got a fair ball and a half orc that can toss a halfling. <laughs> Go long. <laughs> I don't think this is going to fall into the category of Zeno surviving the test of strength. Uh, yeah. Probably not. Since I would get a bonus since you would be an improvised weapon. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think there's probably, there's probably, probably a line in the book that actually says halfling captain improvised weapon. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Well, persuasion? Yeah. He's what, about this tall? Right. Like a club? That's a 12. That's a large club. Um... It's not great. I'm not going to lie. It's not bad. It's not great. Uh, it's no 22 on your knowledge arcana to know about this thing. But um, it says, how about this? I have many treasures in my lair. If he wins, I will let you see them. You let me see them? Correct. Well, I get to take one. If you would like to die, yes. Knowledge is power. Everybody dies. But I don't want to today. <laughs> so I'm, just to make sure I understand. Sure. If he loses, I die. Correct. But if he wins, I get to see, but not touch or take one of your treasures. I didn't say you could not touch them. But I cannot take it. Correct. And if I take it, I die. Well, if I find out about it, yes. 
He seems pretty perceptive, though. He does, doesn't he? Lots of eyes. <laughs> like he has eyes in um, the back of his head. And very beautiful, he says. <laughs> I, 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 I think this is kind of a, a no-win so. scenario for me. Otherworldly beauty, um, one might say. There's a win scenario. There's a winning? I win. Clearly, there's okay. a winning. No faith. So, no, no, no. no. So, see, this is the problem. No faith. This, I have faith in you. But on the this off seems chance like you a lose, powerful, I This die. seems like a powerful individual. And on the off chance, and then should you win, in the likely event you win, what's going to happen is I'm going to go down there, I will be tempted by treasures, I will try to steal one, and die. So I die either way. You have a point. I know. We have a great captain, though. I, mean, I also know that. But we want to keep him alive. Just in case you die, yeah. We have that other great captain. He <clears throat> got all the skills great. required to be a captain. <laughs> That's true. And the experience. It is true. And the crew. Yeah. Mr. Crew Remington. Crew. I'm, I'm, um... <laughs> Mr. Remington says he would be happy to. Um, he would have, be happy to captain the ship again. Ah! Should you die? Ah! There's my counteroffer. <laughs> should he? Should he fail? You may kill Mr. Remington. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why don't uh, you have Remington fight him? Uh, so Frank, you have a new mini. Okay. It has a red base on it. Okay. It's <laughs> like, what happened? I the forgot to mention that. Okay. All right. I, I was not allowed to get you a Hero Forge mini. I was voted down. Uh, Hero Forge, if you want to send us some free miniatures. <laughs> sure. But, uh... Um, That's voted down. But the people that control the money said, no. All right. Frank does not, he's not worthy enough. To get. If he that. wants to buy his own mini, he can buy his own. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do I feel but he was uh, with a affected hobgoblin, by the so. anti-ray? The uh, anti let, me, let me look. Oh, it's 150 feet, so yeah, you do. <laughs> you and do. But his eyes are shut right now. Anything in front of him. Uh, well, it was shut for the, the time, because his oh, he was gonna eye beam. Have to have to switch. But he opened it up again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when it didn't work. <laughs> he got annoyed. He so, did get uh, annoyed. Open his big Let that be a lesson. You can totally take this guy. Can you, I meet? You succeeded on the strength check. I know can I did. Can I meet Rockgut? Not right now. Where is he? He's taking care of things. Well, he's in my lair. Oh. How well, large is your island? How, when oh, will he great. be back? Can we go explore? Otherworldly lord. It is as far as the eye oh, can, see. can, we go, can see. Can we go? Can we go explore right. while well, he's doing his thing? Well, no. you, you tell. We'll come, we'll come no. back in an hour. <laughs> That seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> well, our ship is right there. It's not like we can go anywhere. No, says you. Um, why would up. you want to explore my island? I don't know. Hobgoblin well, that's pirates. why we're kind of destiny. We destiny. Destiny. He says destiny one more time. Survival of destiny. destiny. Is that the name? <laughs> of the Where's he at? He's, like He's right there. He floats <laughs> down <clears throat> to your. Area. That's good. To my area? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Great. Right into your purview. Fair enough. Is everybody watching him? No, I hope so. Or him. And he says, tell me, what, <coughs> tell me of this destiny, little one. I am the chosen of the goddess of the sea. Ha! The great, powerful Umberly. And she has sent me here to accomplish my destiny. That is a great story. Or at least to take a step in it. And, and there's cameras that get close as you're telling this story. And he says, I want this story captured. Do you think that he's live streaming the story? Excellent. That's... Yeah, to rock guy downstairs. <laughs> My viewers need to know about this. <laughs> he is live streaming the story. In a vision that was sent to me by my goddess, I traveled to this island. And I went into the jungles. And I defeated a monstrosity, and I held up a golden scepter. How comes the first time we hearing about this? That's shit? entirely right, but close enough. Yeah, um, it was a dream. <laughs> it was a dream. He, he <laughs> says, it's "I'll tell you what. Dream. First, we'll deal with that one. Fair enough. There may be an opportunity if you can prove yourself worthy." I will allow you to explore my island. But you will have to take one of these devices with you so that your amazing adventure can be captured. The goddess yeah. always watches me. There is no reason for me to shy away from anything else watching as well. I don't know. All right. 
Yeah. I must go prepare. When is your champion going to show up? <laughs> when I wish him to. Let him go prepare. <laughs> oh, tall furry one. You're like a Wookiee. <laughs> What's a Wookiee? I cannot tell you, for it is trademarked. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a cookie, but with a W. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Wait for the champion. All right. So he goes back over to the hole. It opens up, and he goes through. Okay. The cameras cool. stay. Excellent. And one is now following Sarsarel. Perfect. Can we eat the bullywog things now? I think you I'll certainly change my name could to if Star you wanted. Starcerel. Um, well, let's. Uh, I'm gonna head back down the stairs towards uh, the crew. Then. Okay. Do the bullywogs that are up there make any moves to stop me? Um, the bullywog that is uh, with the the feather headdress, it just watches you. It doesn't do anything okay. to stop you. All right. So we can all get back down. Down into the so middle, yeah, surrounded I, by bullywogs. So yeah. the bullywogs, right. they don't speak common, is that right? Um, as far as you know, they don't. Okay. I looked at one of the bullywogs that's up at the top. I'm like, so where's this test going to take place? Um, the one with the headdress says, over in that ring. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, good talking. All right. So I'm going to... He use... says, my name is Erp. Erp? Erp. Herb, herb. <laughs> Thanks, Herb. Um, Not Herb. 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 E R P. Herb. Herb. Okay. Herb. You may prepare yourself for this challenge. Will be a difficult one. I think to, to Rockgut eats a lot of people. How big is Rockgut? He is very big. Bigger um, than me? Very big. Yes. <laughs> um, question. <laughs> I get the sense that uh, Lord Rundies yeah. enjoys a good show. He certainly does. You get that impression. I do. So I'm thinking that uh, to put on a good show, he a really good show, a great show, a great show, that my crew and I should return to our ship to prepare. I don't think that that's such a great idea. You should be allowed to use Your ship is now the property of Lord Rundies. But we're just going to prepare. No, no. Just prepare. How about... Uh, My champion should have a good meal. I'm gonna go. Our cook is on the ship. I'm gonna go take some things, some random things that are just lying around, and go take them near the ring. Okay. All right. So, um, like a barrel. A barrel. Yeah. Some there's chains. there's barrels. Sure. You can find some stuff. Why don't you actually? Why don't you make an investigation check? All right. That's one of my best skills. Yeah. Four. Four. <laughs> you find a barrel All right. and a loose chain. Yay. Um, so there are a number of places on this island that uh, you've walked through to get to where uh, Rundines came out. Um, there was what looked like a tavern um, and a shop. Um, and... Ooh, I'm going to go drink. <laughs> Can we go to these places what? without them? Are they going to follow the us? So the camera is going to follow you guys wherever you go. The um, uh, the bully to know a new city. are basically watching you to make sure that you don't do anything you're not supposed to do. Uh -huh. But they're not. Your mission is to keep the captain alive. They're the not immediately the threatening us. threatening you. Yeah. All right. So then let's go. A tavern brawl is a great way to so know go, a new city. So you go to the tavern. Yes. There's a sign above the tavern. It is called the uh, Stoned Bard Tavern. Stoned Bard Tavern. Mm-hmm. And it's made of wood. Um, well, the first thing you notice about this, uh, the tavern when you when you open the door is there is a group of gnolls that is hungrily eating at one of the tables. What are they eating? Um, okay. Unclear exactly, but there are a couple of skulls on the table. Like humanoid skulls? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, <laughs> there is... There actually are skulls on the table. Yeah, there actually are skulls on the table. I wouldn't lead you astray, Doug. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. Um, and then you notice <clears throat> that um, as, you, as you walk through the door, immediately to your right, um, it transfers from wood and tutor to stone. Um, and whoever crafted the stone must have been like... A great craftsman because they even put the wood grain into the floors and the walls um, <laughs> and there is 
a figure, statue, mm -hmm. really lifelike, of a bard who looks like he is... Gained the ire of Rundice. Definitely <laughs> giving someone what for. Uh-huh. But very lifelike, you see. Very lifelike. Very, and how, which petrification I did that? <laughs> uh, who, do, who are you asking? <laughs> So, I, I, are there bullywogs in here? Uh, yeah, there's a bullywog at the bar. So, did he piss off Rundais or what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. What did he, he say? He used to own this tavern. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Uh, well, he said, uh, you can't come in here and demand that this is your domain. And then Lord Rundai said, oh, yes, I can. <laughs> What can I get you? My name is Arp. Arp? Arp. You All right. really don't do a lot with the whole syllables thing, do you? I'm in there with you. Sure. All right. yeah, I think uh, we should all just I would like one of your together. strongest drinks. Yeah. Okay. Fine, I'll go so with he, you guys. he opens a barrel. Uh, make a perception check. Yeah, yeah. You and your camera. Eight. Eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he opens a barrel. He pours some liquid into, the, uh, into a, a stone mug. And he slides it over to you. Um, I, and, yeah, I take it and I chug it. Wait. It, what? Can I take a look at it? No, you take, he takes it and he chugs it. Fine. Um, it, you didn't <laughs> notice the smell, but it tastes foul. It's very alcoholic and very fishy. Mm. Um, awesome. But it will get the job done, you, you feel like. Um, <laughs> So as you're looking around, there are two two um, humans at another table. Um, the gnolls scour at you dubiously. Um, and um, at least they're not scowling, ready to attack. <laughs> and uh, Arp says, uh, "What brings you here?" The wind. <laughs> Our ship. The wind. I've seen your ship. It is very nice. It, it is probably the property of Lord Runites now. No, it's my ship. Oh, well, I think pretty much everything that comes to this island becomes the property of Lord Runites. Ask those two and the group of gnolls over there. Yeah, how did... Let's go talk to the yeah. humans. How, yeah, how did yeah, you, how you go talk to the humans? Okay. Uh, how did you guys get here? Uh, they say... Um, well, first it's rude to not ask our names, but... Um, we don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Sorry, we uh, saw the red shirts and we're like, they must not matter. We washed, <laughs> do you have names? We washed ashore. Yeah, we have names. What what are are names? Do you have names? Yes, my name is Cirque. What is your name? I am Bowden and this is Doden. <laughs> Bowden and Doden. Y'all yeah. had rough lives. Did you? And they're beach washers. Well, before you were washed up on the shore here, what did you do? Uh, well, we were on a ship. Doing what? We were traveling through the inner sea, and we got attacked yeah. by filthy pirates. Filthy pirates, you don't say. And then we were managed to get on some, uh, we, well, it was a partially uh, destroyed lifeboat, but we managed to get here. And we've been here for several months. Doing what? Trying to get off this place, um, but we haven't won the race yet. What race? The Rattle Cup is what Lord Rundais calls it. And what kind of race is it? Uh, it is a cart race. Okay. We like throw banana peels and stuff. <laughs> I ask him if they've ever met Rotgut. Oh, yeah. We've met Rotgut. Um, What's Rotgut? He's an, a sizable ogre. <laughs> awesome. Um, what does he fight with? Uh, mostly, uh, he's got a big axe. Okay. Um, but sometimes he just gets rid of the axe and just tears people apart. Has he ever lost a fight? Um, yeah, on occasion. Yeah. Who to? Um, mostly people who have left the island. Oh. Yeah. So people have have left the island. Oh, yeah, the winner is uh, Curry's Lord Rundine's favor, and they can do whatever they want. 
How come you guys haven't fought Rot Gun? We value our lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. And the other one says, yes, we value our lives. How did those gnolls get here? Um, they, you know, I don't know. We try to stay away from them. Did you see that they're eating people? They Were they your friends? No. Then what does it matter? I don't what, want to be eaten. Point? We value, again, the op. Good point. <laughs> we value our lives. I go back to ARP. Okay, uh, we're just says, so hello, quickly. hello. Uh, I am ARP. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my guy. What's with, with him? Yeah. What's oh. him? <laughs> he said that Rundines couldn't come in. <laughs> <laughs> so I ask how the gnolls got here. Uh, they came to the island searching for um, easy food. And they did not find it. Um, Rune 9 allows them to eat what they can kill okay, on occasion. But that's, that's pretty much it. They're stuck here, just like everyone else. Did you come here with Rune 9 or were you always here? Our tribe has been here since before the, the civilized, civilized <laughs> races. Mm. How many here don't want to be here? Pretty much everybody except for the bullywooks. Do you want ruined eyes here? Oh yeah. It's great. But it's, like it's, when's the last time bullywugs were in charge of a town? <laughs> the, 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 slaves the slaves don't. Yeah. The slaves don't want him here, but well, who right. cares about the slaves? I mean, when you can't race anymore, you become a slave of ruined eyes. Was there any th was uh there wasn't any sort of vegetation or anything. Um, well, so this is a, a vegetated island, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, <clears throat> it has, if you looked around while you were kind of on your way in, oh, yeah. you would have, there would be vegetation that you wouldn't recognize necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, but there's, you guys sailed into a harbor that has a small settlement there. Um, so there's not vegetation in town, but that's not. Okay. Unheard of. So, tell me more about this race. Oh, uh, so the race is uh, the slaves maintain the track, um, and they there's these vehicles that um, Lord Rundais keeps in his lair um, that you would race out on the track. Um, there is there's secrets that I cannot reveal. Why not? The last person that revealed them uh, got eaten by the gnolls over there. So uh, you can talk to the other racers, but should they wish to win, their knowledge of the track would help them against you. Mm -hmm. Where are the other racers? Where's the track? Uh, the, Those two guys. The Those two guys two. over there and the gnolls. Uh, there's a group of goblins somewhere around here. The goblins <laughs> want to leave too, huh? Oh, yeah, Typically, everyone. everybody wants to leave this so place. So, where's this track? Ah, uh, it's on the the far side of the island. Oh, so we can't go there. Not right now. Not yet. I mean, I'm sure that if you if you're going to want to get off the island, you'd probably want to get. Uh... Has anyone ever tried to attack <laughs> Lord Rundais? Attack Lord Rundais? <laughs> there have been several. Um, <laughs> Hence the choking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Bullywugs don't try to attack Lord Rundice, but there have been several. I'm surprised uh, that the they died have... horribly. Oh. Some of the gnolls did. Yeah. They, they died horribly. They did die horribly. They used to be more gnolls. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, so the gnolls sometimes they eat each other. <laughs> there was a lot of gnolls. <laughs> <laughs> there are less than. Uh, that's all that remains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look around for a bunch of like just anything sharp implements of death. Okay. Uh, like knives, forks. Knives. Well, I mean, there's forks and stuff on the tables. Um, fight him an ogre with a fork. Yeah, that's what he does. Why have a spoon? You have a great because it's dollar. Yeah, <laughs> it'll hurt more. A 
Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> you can find you can find some implements. Like you could definitely find the chain that you were looking for yeah. and the the barrel, and you could find a couple of. Yeah, broken bottle. Um, <laughs> there's a bottle if you want. What if we just kill the gnolls? <laughs> what I was thinking about recruiting the gnolls, but the um, we'd kill gnolls. What would be the purpose? They look like they'd be great cannon fodder. So yeah. that's what I'm thinking. I ask Arp if they drink. If the gnolls drink. Yes. A lot. How long do they get? How long does it take to get them drunk? Um, they have a pretty good, decent tolerance. Um, also, they eat endlessly, um, so their metabolism is pretty good. Mm. But if you we, could get them we, drunk if, if you we wanted. Bought them around of drinks. Do you think they would be friendly to us for at least a few minutes? It's possible, but you know, oh, I guess they're they're just finishing up. They shouldn't be that hungry. How Who much? wants to take it to them? I want to watch this. <laughs> I will. Mm. Okay. I take. All right. Like, how many of them are there? There's five. There's five. Five. Oh, five. Yeah, I'll yeah. take. I'll take two fistfuls and just. He says the big one. That that one's called Duskhide. Duskhide. Yeah. Okay. So that is the guy with the um, big the, axe. Yeah. So you walk over to the table with mm. the tray full of drinks. Yep. Drop them. Uh, oh, the go along with you. the head, uh, Noel nods a, a thanks and says what what do you want in return I'd like to learn about what Lord Rune dies it's a beholder what is there to know well, tell, me about, tell me about this race I understand that you've had some guys go up again that have tried to take uh... I'm gonna go fight rot gut you want to watch I do want to watch that, <laughs> <laughs> the last one to fight rot gut got eaten well if I die and I drop my axe, you get, you can get that. Okay. All right. So make a persuasion check with advantage. Persuasion. 17? Or, sorry, 18. Okay, 18. Um, what do you want to know about the, the race? I just want to know about it. We just, we hear there's a track. Mm -hmm. There and is a track. It gets carts. changed on a regular basis. And that's all we know. Um, he says... Basically, what he relays to you um, is that creatures who are too weak to um, race maintain the track until they die, basically. Yeah. Um, and the, the track is changed on a regular basis. The races don't happen every day. They happen, you know, like maybe every couple of weeks. Um, and, man, there's a lot of coffee in this one. Right? Yeah. Somebody got the plague in your soundscape. <laughs> I'm going to change it up. Maybe it'll, maybe okay. it'll go away. Um, and um, the... The... <laughs> the race, the race is performed uh, with vehicles that he had never seen before coming to this um, island. He describes them more like a car. Yeah, he he calls them battle carts. Battle carts. Okay. Um, battle and carts. yeah, they're they're uh, horseless carriages. Man. Horseless carriages. Hmm. Um, Interesting. You get booed or oh, there we go. <laughs> That's much better. Um, yeah. Is that one of the guys in the corner? So he says one of the nice things about this is you, uh, if you do well. Um, but don't win, you can um, you can modify your cart. Um, oh, that's nice. Yes. But until you win, you don't get to go anywhere. But if we don't win, but we do well, you we get our own race. garage, and we get our own crew. Uh, can... <laughs> there, there are... And Mario comes cruise. out with those bananas. There are the crews that on? maintain the battle carts. So if, if your cart takes damage during a race, you can have... Um, How many racers in a single cart? It depends on what cart you choose. He says, us, we ride in one cart. You're a crew of one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, he says, cart. those those two over there, they ride in a two-person cart. All right. Mm. But... Uh, and then how do we register for the races? Uh, I, I'm, a sh I'm sure Lord Rundice will talk to you about that. All right. There are too many Perfect. people here, and this mm -hmm. is not natural. Let's get out of here. 
Yeah. Are you attached to that one? Attached? No. I am. No eat, no eat him, please. I am attached to him. He looks a little sad with the no eating thing. <laughs> okay. There's He's a only a mouthful for you anyway. That's there's, true. There's a guy outside. He's got his, uh, his hat, this triangle. Yeah? You can eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Why? He's supposed to be helping get the ship ready in case... No, he can't get on the ship. He can't so get back to the ship. We may as well use him as... Uh, if, if he a finding friends, ship by feeding him to the gnome. He says, um, if you're looking for us, we will be probably back in the barracks. And he points to... Um, okay. No. Oh, over. The, the thing oh. with the bars in the windows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, before they before they go, I, I was curious if they won if they could recount the story of any of the brethren that took on uh, Rune Dice. Oh yeah, I'm sure they, they certainly did. can. So um, there was one that got turned to stone, and then he got lifted up and slammed to the ground and broke to pieces. Oh, he tried to lift me up. That didn't work so well for him. But okay, keep keep going. You know, um, the funny thing about being turned to stone is you don't get a saving throw on being lifted up anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much just a guaranteed kind of thing. Yeah. yeah okay. uh, there was one that was disintegrated. Okay. Uh, there was one that was withered away to a husk. Did they fight together or each one separately? Uh, no, there was a plan to fight together. And and did anyone actually get to attacking Rune Yeah, he, he took a couple of hits. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But, no. but all that fought him were killed. Uh, I have a question. Uh, did, sure. Did Lord Runines during this entire skirmish ever stop smiling? No, he likes it. Yeah. That's not good. He how, found it amusing. How, how come yeah. you, you guys didn't uh, join in that fight? Uh, the funny thing about valuing our lives is <laughs> we do. do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was certain death. Okay. Then. But they didn't want to, they weren't patient. I told them, we will win this cup and we will we will get free Same. yes hmm. plus right. lord rundides offered us to see his trophy room and with did you see a trophy room no we haven't won yet oh, oh you're gonna get to see i it. get to see it if Unless he wins he dies. the fight against and if he dies then you die <laughs> right no i i think my death is pretty much dead. guaranteed no matter how what then, happens but well we're all going to die sometime, right? I, I, that's what I've heard. So, all right. Mine well. might be in like 20 minutes. <laughs> well, <laughs> mine might be in 21 minutes. He turns to you because he knows that you care about him. If the little one dies, just let us know. We'll take care of the body. You got it. All right, cool. That's oh, yeah, like the halfling. If I die, you can eat me too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Why not? I guess you'll be 50 dead. gold dead. on on Rotgut. <laughs> <laughs> we eat good, and the other ones just start laughing, and they all sound like hyenas laughing together. Um, Ooh, what do you guys? What do you guys want to do now? I'm gonna look at the arena. You gonna look, go look over at the arena? Okay. So arena. yeah, um, it 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 looks very precise. Um, it let's see here. It's a very tight arena. Yeah, it is tight. Um, it is a ring uh, that is cut into stone with, at precise dimensions. Um, and there is a, a plank that leads out into it. It's not that deep. Um, you think that if an ogre got in here, he would be able to easily get out if he needed to. Um, it might be, it probably wouldn't be any challenge for you to climb the wall either. Unless you're fighting an ogre at the same time. Unless you're fighting an ogre. <laughs> Are there any um, of the bullywugs around the arena? Oh yeah, the bullywugs are all over the place. When the fight happens, can I can I find somebody to talk to about the fight? Because I just want to yeah. know if Lord Rundine's watches with his. Do you want to talk to Ar open? to Yerp? Yeah, I'll talk to Yerp. Okay. Not Arp. I'm tired of Arp. He's only got that one. <laughs> talk to Arp. That loop. That one loop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Arp. <laughs> Uh, Yerp walks over to you and as he sees you guys inspecting the uh, the fighting pit, and he says um, that he hopes that you um, survive, and uh, because the the racing lately has not been not been great, so he has he has high hopes for you. What are the rules of the race or no the, of this fight? 
of this fight. Oh, um, no outside help. Um, but preparations are fine. And does Rindines watch it with his large eye open or just with his other eyes? Um, well, your friend doesn't appear to be a, a caster of sorts. So nope. I don't think that there should be any reason for him to watch with his, his anti-magic eye okay. open. That would be helpful if he didn't. No, if he had the eye open, then if the ogre had anything magical on him, it would also oh, be Oh, Braca does not need anything magical. So, I was just thinking I could bless you before the fight. So if... As part of your preparation, mm -hmm. call down the blessing of Umberly. That would be good. You, you say that there's no outside help. Right. So, so could what he bring his pet that? bear, for example? Uh, I, I don't see. Well, he is my Do you nut. have a bear on the ship? Yes. Yeah, we, we have a pet bear. I have to go get my bear. I have oh a... Oh, my um, gosh. That's, that's an 18 on my deception. <laughs> pet bear. 18 on your deception. Hold on, hold this on. This is the best. You're actively, <laughs> you're actively deceiving someone who actually has a stat block. Hold on, let me look at his stat block. <laughs> Cirque, oh, bear rider, shipwreck. <laughs> I'm, a, well, he only, next, I'm gonna change. My next one's gonna be a shark bear. I'm gonna turn it. Second, I get that's swim. Fine. I can go underwater. Oh, second, I get a that swim stat. I'm going shark. Oh, that's bear. right. You got Herb it. Says, I think it would be fine. Oh, good. We'll bring our bear. Okay. Can I go um, to the ship? Can I, actually? Um, he has a can, little hat, but he wears. He <laughs> he looks down to um, there's there's a figure that you hadn't noticed before <laughs> in a big jacket, <laughs> a red one. He he looks down to and he says, Alpha Zane, there is a bear that the green one needs from the ship. Go get the bear, and this figure uh, it looks like looks you would recognize it for sure as. Um, uh, it looks like a black dragon, but it's humanoid. Um, but it has like all of the the skull like face and the curved horns forward and the black scales. Um, um, Dragonborn. Yeah, it's a. It's if, a if he goes something to, like that. If yeah. he goes to our ship, he's going to die. Oh, I don't think so. I think he's fairly. Our crew would kill him. Or would try, and we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to unfortunately burn a dead still alive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let, let, uh, let, actually, oh. can you go get the bear? Can you just go let the bear off the ship? So the black dragon will walk with you. Alpha Zane will walk with you. He says, uh, we'll, we'll go get just, the... Just let Ren go onto the ship. Ren will let the bear off the, off the ramp, and then uh, Cirque will take the bear from there. Sure. We have to inform your crew that they are now uh, under the domain of Lord Rundines anyway, so um, this, is, this saves us a trip. So they walk Rin, off. Rin will take care of explaining that to them while the bear comes with me. How and, about that? And the ship's not going anywhere. Rin, you promise not to take the ship anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I, I take your silence as An, a frustrated acquiescence. <laughs> 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 this is the best we've uh, ever had. <laughs> this, is, this is a plan. Okay. It is definitely is a plan. plan. So, so yeah. I'm walking with him. <laughs> yeah. Um, Always have a plan. <laughs> I'm going to be like, so who are you? My name is Alpha Zane. How did you come to be here? Um, I heard tale of a beholder. Mm -hmm. And I came to Off meet to this services. creature. Yeah. You get paid well? Yeah. Do you know how many ships come here? Lots of ships. They all come with something. Are you just the enforcer? Well, I mean, technically Rockcut is the enforcer, but he's not super smart. <laughs> I'm smarter than Rockcut, so. Hmm. Congratulations. <laughs> so is a four year old. <laughs> <laughs> What's it take to work? <clears throat> to hear here? Yeah. Oh, all you have to do is please Lord Rudides and he and and not have a desire to leave. Hmm. You have no desire to leave? I mean, why would I? I'm living in a dominion, and I'm right hand to the creature that rules it. Okay, this does sound awful. Exactly, impressive. Method Man. You don't have to have a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you get to the ship, and he walks up the plank with you to on, on board. Do you signal anything to the crew? 
Yeah, I give them a signal to, to hold off. I okay. tell them... Um, they look basically just quizzically at what the hell's going on. I will explain. You go get... The bear. The bear. <laughs> um, so I why, explain why to the crew explaining? what's going on with okay. the dra- by dragon there. Because so I don't really care, Alpha so Zane sending says, me to tell the... Telling yeah, me no. to tell the crew probably wouldn't be the best idea. So Alpha Zane says, calm down, calm down, crew. Uh, you are now the property of Lord Rundeis, and um, you cannot leave until you've pleased him. And uh, the little pink one, I forget his name, he is going to die unless uh, this one uh, beats our champion. Uh, and there's a bear that we came to get. Where is this bear? You come out. <laughs> yeah, I come out from my room. <laughs> <laughs> the same attitude that I had. Like, <laughs> there's a very bear. Sorry. <laughs> there's a bear with a really piss poor really attitude. <laughs> happy, but it's kind of going uh, along with it. Okay. Uh, and you ride this? Occasionally. You're half. You're almost the same size, is it? I want to see this writing of it. It doesn't like it, though. <laughs> Watch. Okay. <laughs> you going to bite him? Good. <laughs> Make get? a grapple. I got a, I got a nine on my animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 13 to throw your ass off. Oh, well, nice. Make an acrobatic show. Oh, make an acrobatic okay. Yeah. This is a pose. Oh, it's a seven. Oh, yeah, you throw him right off. <laughs> and Alpha Zane says, you want to fight with this thing? It seems like it wants to fight with you. You're not going to do well. It's, it's our thing. We do this. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get him warmed up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He, he'll, yeah. So he, you guys, you guys the make your way off. You forgot his saddle. <laughs> you you got to put a jar of honey in the, uh, the pit, and the bear will be happy. <laughs> Two jars? <laughs> okay, so... As Alpha Zane is walking off, he says, by now, the Bullywooks have disabled your rudder, so you guys are pretty much stuck here. Well, yeah, I figured ah, as much. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys walk back in. Is the there anything... Like floating away. Anything no! as, as, as you're walking in, is there anything you want to talk with uh, Alpha Zane about, or do you uh, want to explore the island? Where did you come from before anymore? here? He says, I came from Waterdeep. Who'd you work for there? Uh, there is an organization that prefers not to have its name known, uh, but I'll I'll just be upfront. The Cult of the Dragon. Oh yeah, we heard about those guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the group that doesn't wish to be heard. Yeah. So uh, can we get to the fight part? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we you can. Because you've got what, like three hours in that form? Yeah. How, he can just long? stay in it. No. I believe. No? Do you have a certain set amount of time? Yeah. How long? An hour. Okay, an hour. okay well, the fight was going to be less than 20 minutes. So we're <laughs> sure. Um, <sighs> so, yeah, we, we head over to the... Okay, area. so you head over to the fighting pit. Yep. Um, at this point, um, <clears throat> Lord Rundais has come back out, um, and he's brought... So I'm, he, but, is this I'm going to blast, yeah. can I blast so him first? first? So you guys Wait, can... Where's this talent? You at? guys can choose what you want to do to prepare for this. Okay. Um, I would assume that you're going to, um, you can cast whatever spells you want to on uh, Cirque before um, before the fight begins. But should you choose to attack um, from outside the circle, that's um, considered unsportsmanlike and you're going to be reprimanded. Do you wear armor? No. Do you want mage armor? Sure. Your AC would be 13 plus your dex. Uh, no. Okay. Because my AC right now is um, dex and con. No. It's not armor. You're not considered wearing armor. Right. The but target's base AC becomes 13 plus your dex modifier. So it only becomes... You I, get, oh, I think so you get, get plus, on top yeah. of Oh, so I gain three on top of that? Okay, so I'm up to 19. 19. Yeah. All, All right. right. So I'll do that. Good. Um, the reason you don't get it when you're wearing armor is because you, it, oh, okay, you just don't get the benefits of it. That's so. So, so um, then if I grab a, the top of the barrel, which could be an improvised shield, that gets me up to twenty-one. 
I've Actually, just got on bark skin. I'll have him so. up here. Do you want mage armor too? No, because bark skin makes my AC 16. Period. And you can cast so while can, in no, bear form? No, How are you going to do this? Well, when I went down before I turned into oh, a bear, you, you cast, cast it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then I can maintain concentration of it, and it lasts just as long as I'm in bear form. Your uh, animal or your wild shape things are in, there's a there's a thing under at the far side of the table. There's a, got it. There's a, okay. So, so you might take, take your mic off. I'll bless. I got it, I got okay. it. I'll just bless Cirque. Okay. That's but a, that's only going to last for 10 rounds. I mean, that, that's, like, I think that, that's that would fine. probably be fine. It's a D4 to the a, dice a rolls? A D4 for attack rolls and saves. Okay. Mike, why don't you roll initiative? Oh, you got to beat uh, uh, yeah. one. <laughs> I rolled 16. a I rolled a two minus one attack rolls and saves <clears throat> one d four okay, just for your so. do I need to well, roll for initiative I can yeah, bless you, you too I'll bless them both I mean there's no yeah. reason not to bless the bear eleven yeah bless the bear I'm really pleased bless okay so you this two champion are going and before your favorite <laughs> rock and his pet bear so rocket is sizable for an ogre who he is, is also known big. as Rin <laughs> gave you. The bear. <laughs> so as you guys are walking to... Um, the Bullywugs don't know what Rin's name is. They don't care. As, as you guys are walking up to the fighting ring, uh, you walk past a little metallic <laughs> creature. It looks like, looks like a dwarf uh -huh. in uh, full plate, but it, he, it looks his beard is plated. Metal? Yeah. Huh. Oh, I saw him in Return to Oz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. And he's just standing watching. Uh, the knolls and it's everybody has started Henry. to, to well, come out. Well, he does have an oil can. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> he looks at you and he says, Sorry. It's a me, Dario. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he Is maintains. he our mechanic? Is he the. He maintains all the kids. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So, um, all right. So, Lord Rundites goes over the rules. Um, Ideally, no eating of the other uh, fighter, um, no casting into the uh, into the ring, unless you want me to do so as well. Um, Fair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, other than that, uh, just just have fun out there. Just have fun. Out there. <laughs> wow. okay, Survival nice. of the Go fun team. team. Fun game. All right, are we ready to kill some shit? Do it. Yeah. All right. So, Cirque, you're up first. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just rage and charge him. You're raging and charging him. Yep. Are you you're not going to ride your mount into battle? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this whole thing was predicated on uh, you riding. No, no, no. Bear. I said pet. It's I didn't say about mount. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and charge him and That's fair. see what I can do. Okay. That's legit. What are you attacking him with? Just, just a fist. A fist? Yeah. Oh, okay. You did all this stuff to get a barrel and then. Oh, yeah. All right. But are that's, they in there? Yeah, they're oh, okay. around. It's just in case I need them, I can grab them and move past them and throw them around. Okay. Um, so you make your attack. So seven. Oh, wow. All right. 15, 21 to hit him. 21 hits him. Okay. Are you adding your D4? Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, that was 2D4 because I can I get the D4 from punch and then the D4. From right. Yes. Yeah. All right. He's mm -hmm. not going to have any troubles hitting. So that's eight from the first hit. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, 10 damage from the first hit. Okay. And then the second one. Ooh. Oh, natural 20. All right. Okay. So two. Eight damage. Okay. One second, because I don't get the string. Okay. Oh. So you smack him around a couple times. Um, how are, what, are you, what are you doing? Like, are you throwing um, haymakers or? No, I'm going to go right for his knees. Okay. And try to cripple, just bring him down. Just hit All him right. and Ow. try to drop, drop him to a knee right off. All right. So he, um, he, Kind of Andre the Giant. Ah, kick, try to push you yeah, away. Kick to the shin and then step on the back. Plus of the four knee. is on attack rolls. A D four is for attack rolls D4. and saves. And saves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Frank, uh, what's Ren doing? He's gonna run up and attack. Okay. So that's going to be a not a lot. Uh, that's going to be a ten. <laughs> ten is not going to. Hit. Yeah, that was the bite. <laughs> that's that unfortunate. Bites. That is even worse. Okay. Two misses. So right. much for that plan. So it assesses what the threat here. Is, is, <laughs> not, yes. is not the bear. <laughs> uh, it's That's not the pet fine. bear. 
Yeah. And that's why they he let swings him in. at you. Okay. With his uh, his great axe. Two swings. That ogre um, doesn't even look grizzled. Twenty four and a seventeen. So the twenty four hits. Yeah. Uh, so he deals eighteen damage to you. So nine. Oh my God. And well, then the, the second, game. the backhand swing goes over your head. Um, and that is his turn. All right. All right. So my turn. Yeah. Could we get him into a flanking position? Uh, if you can pull him out from where he's yeah. at, you yeah, could. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. it's possible. You yeah. have to do some stuff. Grab him with the chain and yank him a square. I'm gonna, well, I can disengage. As your action. Is my action. And then... He's probably got reach with that axe. Don't even try it. Yeah. Hit him. I'm, yeah, just I'm bring just him down. Yeah. Not that, I mean, if you're raging, you might not be thinking, so. I mean. Well, I also, I lose rage if I walk away from him. Well, don't mm. do that. So, let's uh, do that. so that's a 21 to hit him on the first hit. Oh, my life's on the line here. Because that doubles his damage, right? Also, your life is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 24 to hit him on the second hit. Uh, that hits both yeah. times? Do that. Roll higher. <laughs> Thanks. Move faster. Yeah, get up. Move faster. <laughs> 11 damage from Some combined. clever writing. 11 damage right? combined. Okay. Yeah. Clever writing. Yeah. I got it from this movie I saw one time. <laughs> um, all right. Ren? Uh, that is Meow. not a whole heck of a lot better. Um, <laughs> 7, 7, 14. 14 hits. See? No problem. So all that's right. the bite. He's wearing a loincloth, his, uh, his armor. Uh, that's going to be 9. That's gross. Nine. Uh, 9 damage, okay. And that'll also hit. Okay. And... Good to see the bear pulling his way. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good times. Uh, that's going to be nine more. Okay, so 18 total. Yep. All right. He just wanted to make sure that before he hit him, there was a pause. Because it's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude. <laughs> that shit hurts. Like, like, literally, like, physically is like... <laughs> so, the, so the bear did more damage this round. Uh -huh. So guess who it's attacking. I was fine with me. All right. So, natural 20. Oh. So that's a crit. Oh. Um, would you like me up. to roll the damage or just double the... Double it. Oh, all right. Um, and numbers. then, a, how about a 18? Does an 18 That'll hit, hit too. Okay, so, so the, the non-crit, I'm going to roll the damage because I, I, okay. it adds in the, the stuff. So. Do your thing. Um, the the <laughs> non-crit is 18. Okay. How many hit points does your bear form have? Okay. We're about to find out. <laughs> well, it's going to be, uh, is it less than 36? 10. Yes. Oh, well then we're boned. Um, That's my pet bear. <laughs> what, my pet bear's a dude? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't supposed to go down that way. I was, I was supposed to be the one pulling 22. the aggro the whole time. Mm. Uh, 25. You should have him. 34. 34 damage. Total? Jesus. Yeah. So That's the crit. 34, 34 just the crit or 34 total? So 18 and then 34. So 52 damage. I'm dead. Yeah. Well, I convert back to human form. Uh huh. And then you take with the remainder. 18. I take the remaining so 18. So you fall unconscious. And how many but you're hit not points dead. are you added? And, and then I go. Form? I have nine so, hit points left in druid form. Yeah, so you're. You're not dead. Yeah, you're just you're yeah, nine hit you're points. Fine. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. So survival we're, of the fittest. Yeah. So wait. Oh, 52. I mean, I would have been dead. The, but. the bear's been a druid this whole time. <laughs> I That's am. That's a random crit. That was what a, are the 23 odds? Twenty-three on my. Uh, Five percent. Five percent. <laughs> uh, so um, two dice. Two dice. Kind of chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> you are a cheater. <laughs> hey, you said no outside spells. This is not or outside. Uh, he was or, inside. Or outside Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> By we, the letter of the law. We cleared it first. The pet bear was okay. Being technically correct is the best type of correct. <laughs> <laughs> so we got permission from this log right here. Yeah. You're at how many hit points? I'm at nine, nine hit points. You're nine hit points. Okay. So you're not unconscious. No. no. Oh, so you're standing up. He's I'm standing up. up. Yeah. Stand up. Now it's okay. my turn. And now it's your turn. <laughs> now you can cast spells, though. You can cast spells. It's true. I'm going back into bear form. 
That's where I do the most damage. <laughs> uh, let's see, that's 11 plus, so 17 to hit. 17 hits. All right, so I just got to beat a four. Hey, look at that. You know that 14 hits, because he yeah. hit on a 14. <laughs> Only if he's paying attention. So 13 damage total. 13 damage total, From okay. So just keeping, I'm just working his lower body. Okay. Because I so, can't uh, reach up to the face yet. I go back into bear form. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bear. And what what kind of action is it to switch into bear 11. form? Is it bonus? It's a bonus. Yes, yeah. okay. it's a bonus. All right, cool. Hit. The bite. That's nine. Do you go back into bear form with full bear form? The, hit yes. Points? Bear That's form amazing. has full hit points, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, it's not broken today. But, awesome. but the damage, <laughs> the damage that he, that he his takes in in over yeah, right, right. Um, goes yeah. against his, yeah. his total. Uh, that'll also hit. <laughs> so he's still only at nine I'm still if at he nine. gets yeah. hit so if, really if, hard again. Uh, if he gets hit, he's done. Uh, that one is seven. Seven. Okay. So seven and what was the first one? Nine. 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 Okay. So uh, 16. 16. All right. Um, How's he looking? Is he he's dropping, looking rough at this point. Is he point. dropping to an E yet? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's... I mean, he looks like this is barely tolerable for him. <laughs> he's barely hanging on? <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, Frank. <laughs> all right, so... Um, I, just, I look at him I'm like, come on! Oh, all right. Uh, so that is a 22. Yep. And a 14. Nope. All right. So... Three, I need to get this. seven, nine, uh, so 14. 14, so seven. And Runa is just like, this is down to the wire. This is amazing, viewers. <laughs> Can you see this? All right, go for it. No, because I don't have 80 eyes. <laughs> okay, so that's a hit, and that's a hit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. <laughs> so, 14 damage from two hits. Okay. And this time I'm going to, like, climb up him and just start hitting him in the face. Okay. <laughs> so he wobbles a lot at this point. Um, are you guys are you guys trying to kill No, it's not Rock Cut. Okay. Just... Are you trying to kill Rock Cut? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Apparently not. All right. Just uh, oh, that'll miss. That's a <laughs> my good dice idea. apparently heard you. See, we yeah. should have said I was trying to kill him. What do you, what do you roll? Uh, really that one will hit. This this late into the fight, I will let you know it's thirteen. Is what you're going for? Oh, yeah, wow. that last one was. Uh, uh, he rolled that a was three. Left. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was left. Right. But the bite hit. So okay. there you go. Uh, that will be ten. Ten. Okay. Um, so he goes down to a knee at that point, um, and he. He basically surrenders. Um, he you, drops his axe. You don't speak giant, but you get the. And I was going. Oh, I didn't take any damage in bear form, or else. No, that time. Yeah, that's different. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he surrenders, and um, the Lord Runites looks at one of the the flying uh, cameras, and he says, "We've got a new champion." And he says, "I'm sorry, Dick. What was your name again?" Oh, and then as he's looking in, you immediately <laughs> revert back to <laughs> druid That's form because he's looking like. back in with the central eye. <laughs> Shipwreck. Shipwreck! And little, like, fireworks go off yeah. the cameras. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> He shoots some lasers in the sky. Hey, there's your beams of light. Pew, 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 pew. Watch those fingers. They sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Um, is the giant beam one of those beams? Because that would suck. No, that that's a power source. there. Um... So, Doug, go ahead and make a strength saving throw. <laughs> oh, that is a 15. Okay, so you are lifted into the air. Oh, boy. And he brings Whoa! you close. The pink one lives! And he says, hooray! hooray! You live! Yay! Why am I and he says, "You guys, pants you guys do whatever you, <laughs> you guys do whatever you want to do." So he, so you and then he, he and uh, Zenos 
<laughs> um, go into the um, into his lair. Into his. Lair. All right. Well, if if he's gonna make me fly, and now that I'm reasonably confident he's not gonna kill me on right. live TV, I will strike a superhero pose no. as I fly <laughs> towards the. <laughs> I got knocked out of bear form, and your ass is doing a Superman pose. Really? Why not? So <laughs> with the cape billow and the, the fancy coat yeah. billow. So make a um, Arcana check on this. All right, that is a 17. Okay, you, he is using telekinesis on you, which means that he can move you in any direction he chooses. That's a neat spell. And as That's you guys go into the hatch... Can you teach me that spell? Um, I don't use spells as much. Oh. I can use spells, but I don't. Oh. Um, this is more of a one eye type of thing. Oh, if we could one teach my one eye to do that, that would be just awesome. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's totally you can't do it, but... I can. First, carve out your eye. Oh, nah, and then yet. he says, we've got some labs <laughs> down in the in my lair that I could I could probably make that happen. <gasps> Do it. Let's just look around first before sure. we discuss any. Sure. Because you know. this is only you going down there, right? Yeah, mm. him and a couple of cameras. Mm. <laughs> so you guys float down for what seems like Possibly Cirque's arm. <laughs> several minutes. It's hard to keep track in this big metal tube. Okay. Um, and then um, you come out uh, in a hole in the, the ceiling, and there is a gigantic space that you come into. And he says, this is the central uh, portion of my lair. Um, you see several other sizable holes in it that look like they're crafted. Um, okay. It's all metal um, yeah. down here. Um, there are his nice throws on the ground, and he, he floats down. It's probably 40 to 50 feet tall. Okay. Um, he floats down, and he himself. sets yeah. you on the ground. And he says, um, Do you want one more? This is Ten. not. Do you want, um, do you want one Sure. This is not what I wanted to show you. Um, this is not my treasure room. But. Um, we can go there from uh, here. So, uh, he says, uh, off in that direction are the carts. Um, I would like you to race for me. I've, I've got a good feeling that you guys can bring in some fantastic hits on my channel. I, 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 thought, <laughs> I thought by winning the, um, the fight with Yoger, sure. that would please you. He, it did please and me. And I would be free to go. No, that's not. No, you got to live <laughs> and see my treasures. Yeah. So you want us to race for you too? Well, if you want. If, if we if we win. If you want to leave. If we win, will we be free to go? Yeah. If you win, you're free to go. If you lose, you have to stay. And if you lose enough, then you get to repair the track for but, the rest of your life. But if we win say, in a way that gets you lots of hits. Okay. I'm you, interested. We get an item out of your treasure room. Make a persuasion check. That's a uh, 21. If you get a lot of hits on my channel, mm -hmm. you got a deal. All right. I got I to gotta have something I can give my crew. Okay. So. Now for our Twitch viewers, what is Rundine's channel? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, twitch.tv uh, slash uh, Lord Rundine. <laughs> um, I'm so locking that down right now. <laughs> he, he says, I like you, Spined One. You are, you are a very funny man. Half man, I guess. What, are, you a, are you a child of one of the... No, no, this is as tall as I will ever be. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. Unless for you. I cast grow person on you, large person, <laughs> then you'd be normal size. <laughs> you used to squish your feel cheated for that. You are super fat. <laughs> so I, I, I think that this height works for me. Thank you. Fantastic. I don't care really. I mean, you're you're bite size for the knolls, so you may want to stay away from them. <laughs> oh, I'm not worth their trouble. So he um, they were well, fifty gold on this. He right. squires you off. Um, through a gallery, um, there are several uh, okay. realis realistic statues here. Okay. Um, very realistic. I'm yeah, sure. they're very realistic. Are, are any of them um, bent over to pick up something? Um, or look like they're holding something? They're, yeah, in, in, they're in a number of poses. Um, <laughs> some are screaming. 
What are you? Oh, okay. What are you? What are you doing? Oh, I just got a. He stole something from a, a stupid dead candy shop. Okay. He was mm, taking a pee. Okay. <laughs> so um, he he uh, takes you into a room full of books. Okay. There's just like endless um, levels of bookshelves in here. Okay. Um, and he takes you into a room that is filled with just a random assortment of magical items. So, um, going back to the room with the books, because I'm not allowed to take anything out, but I can touch. Correct. So, I'm going to start looking at the books to see what we... What... He says, I thought we were going to go to the treasure You did not want to see the treasure room? Isn't this part of your treasure room? This is, you know, this is a magical assortment of books. Well, if it's part of your treasure room, then am I allowed to see it? Absolutely. Okay, so I would like to spend a little bit of time just to see what... If you want to stop here, we can stop here. <laughs> and he sets you down. Well, well, I would like to also see the <laughs> rest of it. It's not one or the other, it's both, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me spend a little time here, and then we'll continue. How much time would you like to spend here? Well, I'll tell you what. Do you have any spell books in here? Yeah, there are many spell books. Okay. Do you so, know how many casters come here? <laughs> many casters have come here. So you've got a, quite a library. Yes. Okay. And this is, and I'm, I'm making notes as how how to get from here to where yeah. the uh, garages are. Yeah. Well, why don't you make a survival check? Yeah, I'll make one of them. Okay. That's a f four. Okay. You um, have no freaking clue you where you are, no how clue. you got there, yeah. or when you'll be back. <laughs> Matter of fact, you. with that survival check, you forgot shit that you did. So I'm saying, oh, you're I really, really, really <laughs> should have brought my pet bear. For this. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here in a, a room filled with uh, spell books. All right. Well, I know other, I know the bear is also my navigator. So, <laughs> sorry, how much time down here would you really give me to look around? Well, the next cup is in, uh, is in about a week. So I've got a week to look at your t treasure room? If you would not oh. like to eat, sure. <laughs> I don't want to kind of survive without food. It only takes <laughs> me a couple hours to, couple to write days. down a spell. Um, show me the rest. Show me the rest. So he, he takes you into another room, um, and it is filled with a random assortment of, of items. Okay, so um, I'll just... If you cast Detect Magic, a lot of it glows. <laughs> okay. Um, and then he opens his eye, and then none of it glows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes. Watch then this, then hold on. <laughs> so, um, that got real dark. <laughs> what would what would it be to get an idea of the amount of wealth that's in here? Is that in insight? Insight? Oh, okay. Crap. Or investigation? Yeah. What? Insight? Uh, insight, okay. So time? that would be a 21 on my insight. <laughs> crap time. Uh, 21 on your insight. would. Yeah. This is roughly the size of a uh, challenge rating. Let's see where is he? <laughs> Challenge rating. I feel uh, cheated too, useless wizard. <laughs> um, he is roughly the size of a, uh, a beholder's uh, treasurer. Uh, huh. It is okay. in his lair. Well, it is okay. sizable. Sizable. Um, could, would it fit on the ship in a round <laughs> ship or two? Um, <laughs> Just trying to get a sense of sizable. I, I appreciate that. I can, uh, I can appreciate that. Unaided we'll magically, it would not fit on the ship. Okay then. Oh, that's um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, can I spend a couple hours in your library? Yes. All right. So, you know, see if I can find a. So he takes you back into the library. I'll start looking at a he couple. He sets of the... you down and he says, "This camera will make sure that you don't steal anything." All right. I will put all the books back. I'm gonna and... talk to the bartender. Uh, so you're gonna do your stuff. I'm gonna steal a spell. I'm not steal. I'm gonna <laughs> copy a spell down. Yeah, that's perfectly yeah, fine. So that's within the rule. I'm going to talk to dude. I'm going to have him pour me some of that nasty shit. Okay, so he pours you the fishy, uh, oh, fishy I'm going to buy some more drinks for my, uh, my no old friends. friends. They will buy you drinks. Because <laughs> they got paid. <laughs> well, they, they, they bet against. Oh. But <laughs> they, they say somebody needed to take rock gut down a peg or two. Um, so, yeah, there's fish ale to be served. I'm going to ask him. Yarp. Yarp. This is Arp. Arp. My name is Arp. Uh, my name is Arp. Arp. What is it possible to do around here that doesn't get us in trouble as far as exploring the general area? Can we not leave this area? How far can we go? Arp says as long as you stay in the settlement, you should be fine. Okay. And the settlement it consists of several buildings, uh, including barracks, which you'll be um, escorted to at the end of the night. You can't sleep outside. That sucks. Can you turn into something small and get to the bars? Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. 
Um, a seance. This is just so dumb. Um, and I drink. Uh, I say, so anywhere inside the settlement, mm -hmm. is there anything of interest around here? Uh, he says, well, there's a, a, a merchant place called the, the Magic Emporium. Where's that at? It says across the way. Oh. I, I want to go see if they have a thing called remove petrification. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. You know, strangely. <laughs> Yeah. Jeez, um, so I drink and I chat him up. Wake then... up that bar. And another! <laughs> he says most of the people that, that are here will spend time modifying their battle cards if they can. Um, you can buy a, an assortment of things at the Magic Emporium um, or you can drink and eat. Well, you want to go look? Yeah, let's go look. Right. Okay. So you go over to the Magic Emporium. Mm -hmm. um, it is not partially made of stone. Um, <laughs> Surprisingly. It is operated uh, by an elderly dwarf um, who uh, who says, Oh, hello. Hello. My name is uh, Truffley. Truffley. And as he's walking forward, he steps on his beard and stumbles to the ground. <laughs> does this beard have mushrooms growing in it? <laughs> uh, no, it does not have mushrooms growing in it, but uh, it is very long. It, it, it sweeps his feet <clears throat> when he walks around. You have been here for quite some time, have you not? I have been here since uh, Lord Rundai came here. Um, he came from inside the island itself. What? Yeah. There is uh, some kind of layer below that existed before the, the settlement. And then he just came out one day? Yeah, there was rumors of another creature like him before, uh, but no one had ever seen it. Mm -hmm. then no one could figure out how to get the hatch open. <laughs> so we just... There's a series of numbers mm -hmm. that you had to yeah. repeat. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. So, um, I'm just like, I'm just And then like, one day, <laughs> Rundines came out of the hole. And, and took over. And now we're in his domain. Oh, I'll just keep that saying sucks. that shit. <laughs> well, he is the fittest one here. You are correct. But he is wholly unnatural. This whole place is unnatural. Yeah, it's great. Well, yeah. this story is not unnatural. It is natural. It's made of wood, right? It's made of wood. And mm. Tudor. So, we hear you have some things you can buy from here? Yeah, I have several things. Like what? Well, what are you interested in? <laughs> he... <laughs> so, he's got... Uh, he's got several potions. Okay. Um, and he brings them out. They all look similar. They all have... Uh, they're all kind of dark, um, viscous liquids. Um, okay. And he's got a, a scroll... Um, he's got a staff, um, a, a sword, uh, he's got another liquid in a, it's not really a liquid, it's more of like, um, cream, and he says, that is not for consuming. Did he get harpies? <laughs> is that your harpies? Nothing kills. <laughs> and then he's got this really nicely stitched uh, armor that is uh, made from from um, fabrics and padded uh, padding that is uh, well, really finely crafted. Uh, he says, I, I can show you any one of these items. I can tell you more about them. What's if you the choose. staff? I'd pick up the staff and I do staffs, so. Okay. Um, special or fancy about he it. He says, uh, that is rumored to be haunted by um, a wizard named uh, Alram. Um, it wizard, can turn yeah. into a snake Snake, if you choose. Hmm. That is 2,000 gold pieces. Hmm. I don't have that. Hmm? I don't have that. And as you, as you feel it, it, it feels uh, slightly cold to the touch. It, it kind of has a... It's, Looks like it's made out of like a gnarled piece of wood, mm -hmm. um, but it's carved at the end to look like a snake. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. What does the sword do? Uh, the sword. Uh, Is there anything special about it? It, uh, it, it wounds like... uh, <laughs> oh. very well. Um, it is magical. Cats, cheese. 
Um, and uh, creatures slain by the sword turn into rats. Do you control the rats? No. Oh. No. Oh. But it wounds very well. How much is the sword? Uh, that is also 2,000 gold pieces. Anything we can do to get that to knock down a little bit? Uh, like odd jobs and yeah. stuff? You know, I don't have any quests at the moment. <laughs> but, uh, what task? <laughs> How much is the armor? What is the armor? I look at the armor. It's um, it's padded armor. So it's uh, the armor is, I believe, padded armor is. Is it light? Thirteen plus dex. It's light. Yeah, it's yeah. thirteen plus. But dex. it's magical, so um, it yeah, is uh, plus one armor. Um, he says. Uh, interesting thing about that armor. Uh, it used to belong to a fighter named Gilly. And uh, we were barely able to get the armor off of Gilly before Rotgut ate him. That's unfortunate. Yeah, How I much? beat up Rotgut. Well, sorry. We you did. We beat up Rotgut. You know, usually they don't let Rotgut fight two people at the same time. I lean in and I go, <laughs> rawr. No. He's, he's, my pet, he's my pet bear. <laughs> you ask how much is the armor? Yeah. I pet him. Uh, it's it's 1,500. Okay. I don't think he heard yeah. that. No, he'd, pet bear. he'd get mm -hmm. upset because I don't think you're supposed to pet a furball without permission. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we've been here. Um, so they also say you have stuff for carts. Oh no, the cart stuff is down in the the garage. Oh. Um, I do have these potions. Yeah. What do those things do? Those are gross. They're healing potions. They're healing potions. Ah. Uh, that one looks like tar. They're slightly <laughs> aged healing potions. <laughs> Bit beyond their <laughs> expiration date. <laughs> I'm offering them for a discount. Yeah? What's yeah. the discount? 45 gold pieces. For That's how many? Five off. <laughs> for one. Oh. <laughs> they're, you know. They're... It's the same price you paid for new Listen, ones at the temple. But... This is yeah. the sell by date. It's still able to be consumed. <laughs> what is the effect when you consume it? Ah, uh, you get healing. How? How fast. Yeah, yeah, oh, fast. fast. Like, mm. eventually, <laughs> over time, does it hurt you before it? Is? I have not taken these healing potions. Well, but I've heard that they're the same amount. The racers, they love the healing potions. What is that cream? Oh, it's a universal solvent. <laughs> there you go. It that makes might. things uh, not sticky anymore. Is there a lot of things that are sticky you on carts? I mean, carts are stuck together and. There's... So if I were to apply this to a cart, will it pull apart? Well, I mean, it wouldn't unscrew things, but if things were glued together, even with, um, even with what's the magic glue? Yeah, I forget uh, what the magic glue is. Yeah, sovereign, Chat, tell us what the glue. magic yeah, sovereign, sovereign glue. Yeah, even with sovereign glue, it'll it'll come come apart for sure. How much would it solve? Uh, three hundred gold pieces. And how many applications is it? It is three. Okay. Applications. Well, I don't have 300 gold because I have not been paid in a while. <laughs> I tried to pay the crew and I was told not to. So, you know what? It was a good idea. You have, you have money aboard the ship. Yeah. If you can talk your way back onto the ship. I gotta go get my pet spider. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a gambit you can only use one time. But, but it works. It works. <laughs> but it works. Yeah. So, uh, I gotta go get my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm headed out. Okay. Um, what time is it now? It's probably late in the day. Probably late in the day. Um, I'm gonna seek out the black dragon. So that's okay. Dragon is concerned about Alpha the fate Z. of the captain. Huh? You got taken into a, a shaft that we can't get into. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Survival enemies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And I'm pretty sure the reason you're not so Doug, dead is because of us. So yeah. you're welcome. Before you search out Alpha Zane, I feel like we have to get back to Xenos. Um, Xenos, uh, there is every spell that you could imagine in here. Okay. So what spell are you copying? Well, I'm thinking down? Identify it would be useful to Oh, have. really? Yeah. yeah. Weird. So, uh, okay. uh, that would take me about two hours to copy okay. that one down. sure. And then I don't know how long I want to be down here. At fourth level, uh, could you get a higher level spell? At uh, fourth level, could I get I a don't, third level spell? I don't think you're... I think it's every other, right? It's fifth level, I think, is what you... Uh, not sure. It's this tab in this year book, so let's see. It's Fancy. Uh huh. So we're third right now, right? So yeah. Fourth You're level. Be fourth level at the end of this. Yeah. Session. No. So it'll be fifth before I can cast those little spells. 
So you can't cast identify. So I can, what level is identify? I don't know. I assume first, but I think I don't it's know. first or second. You're, I can cast first and second level spells. Yeah, I think it's. I think it might be first. It can, first it level can, of divination. It okay. can also so be cast as a ritual. Cast a minute. Right. So yeah. if I, I'll take that one. That's a that's first level spell. It'll take me two hours. Mm-hmm. Um, How much time do you want to spend down here? Well, that's the thing. I, I, if I do a second level spell, I'm down here for six hours. Mm-hmm. And that seems like a long time. So how about you just grab the first one and then you can so, come back? Because we're apparently so going to be here a while. going to leave you down here as long as you want. Yeah, but is he going to let me come back? That wasn't the deal. I know that wasn't the deal. Ah. So, um... Well, see, that I'm, when, you, when you win a race, you can come back and spend more time. Make that your deal. No, when we win the race, we're yeah. out of here. With treasure, if we can no, pull No, I it think off. it's going to be if we win the cup, which is a series of races. No, it's, it's a race. It's a race. It's, it's one, one race? race. Oh. Okay. All right. We're not here for a season. <laughs> I'm not going to spend several sessions doing racing. Multiple races. Okay. Yeah, no. It's so, our race. I'll get but you've got a week to come up with it. other ways uh, to Here's get... the thing, though. The longer you stay down here, like, there's no food. There's no water. Yeah. Um, Look for and there's levels of exhaustion if you're going to spend as much time as you want. No, no, I, I could ca- I could probably copy down two first level spells. That's four hours, and that okay. would probably be the end of my sure. endurance. So I'll get identify, and I'm not sure. You make a constitution person. saving throw. I mean, you got a whole week. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to spend a whole week down here because no, 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 I've got to no, no. tell everyone no, else. You would to get die ready for in a week, them. but you've got a, a week of time. If I spent three days down here copying spells, that's three days that the rest of the crew doesn't know what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Maybe, what it, no, I think say, it's three days of the rest of the third crew spell, and then you'll have it has the opportunity to plan more appropriately to the challenges we're facing. This is how yeah. I give Xenos spells that he wouldn't already know. Also, <laughs> how you give him some rope to hang. Right. So, <laughs> I don't so, know what you're talking about. So you could always figure out other ways to please ruin dies, whereas if you win, you can come back down here and spend more time. I suppose that's true. But right now? Because we have week. We have a week, mm-hmm. but we need to spend that week actually getting ready for this race. Yeah, we, we need a week. To so I got to tell you guys that we have a race. <laughs> so um, so no, I, I think so I'll spend... How long are we going to be on the island? Two weeks. Two <laughs> weeks. I'll spend four... Four hours? Four hours. Okay. Cool. Gives me two couple of spells. Sure. All right. Go ahead and pick out your spells. Sure. Um, so uh, the dwarf comes up to you. Perfect. And he says... Um, Runedines tells me that I'm your mechanic. Perfect. It's a me, what Mario. Is, what is a mechanic? <laughs> I uh, repair your cart for oh, the right. races. You want to show me the cart? Ah, uh, sure. Perfect. Okay, let's go. We'll follow Dario. I'm going to see you guys leaving. Like, where are they going? But I've got <sighs> the camera with me. So yeah, yeah. The camera. I follows. turn to the camera and say, "We're going to go see our cart." <laughs> and then I keep following so, Dario. <laughs> uh, you and Dario go in. Um, he presses some um, some buttons. I pay attention. On why don't you make a perception? Perception check. check. Twenty. You could be. Wow. You could be the slave Leia to uh, Rune Dice. No. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 Doug, you like Star Wars, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do like Star Wars. He is wearing a Star Wars shirt and a hat. Yes, I am. Doug right. is wearing his uniform. <laughs> <laughs> My uniform. Star Wars shirt. Yeah, under the, uh, a plaid shirt. I'm yeah. pretty sure the Xenos does not have so a metal bikini. So he hits uh, oh, we can a make number it. of sig- sigils yes. on, yeah, I know on you the thing. Could. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, he see. says, "So uh, this will activate it's not a good one. the door and the it's elevator." Like three parts of a shoe. Um, the hell? And when the door opens, Stop. there is a small platform that comes up from the wall okay. that he steps on, and he motions for you to get on. All right. So did I successfully see the pattern that he pressed? Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so you guys, uh, it takes a long time to get down to. <laughs> and there is railings that you can lean on. But he says, careful. These are old. Don't you know what? Me. I don't need railings. Because I'm the champion of Umberley, I say to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, make a make a charisma check. All right. I will. Oh. So as you as you looked at the camera, you're like, 
<laughs> whoa, whoa. And you have to grab, grab on the railing. Really. <laughs> I don't need a railing other than this one. So this Dario one right takes here. you down. Um, Oops. That might actually get you fall. To, uh, to just before where you wouldn't know where he, where uh, Xenos got off on, but just before that, there's the elevator stops and the okay. uh, door opens in the the wall that you're on. Right. And you walk into an area that is a, another cavernous space. Um, there are several uh, lifts that vehicles are on. Dwarves similar to Dario. Like mechanical looking. Yeah, yeah. Are, are doing their repairs. You <clears throat> see in here um, some, uh, some humans and a goblin that are at different stations and they're talking to the dwarf. Um, the dwarf that's, that's with associated, with, okay. associated with him. Um, so do we have a specific vehicle already assigned to us? No. So you guys want... Uh, so Dario says, um, my last team won. Oh, perfect. So they're no they longer use? around. Um, he shows you to a very slick looking vehicle. How um, many people can fit on it? Uh, it, it wouldn't be a full... Um, at your full uh, away team right. would not be able to fit entirely on this right. one. So maybe four instead of six. What's the value of having multiple members of your crew? What's the value of, of having, having multiple, multiple people? Vehicles? No, one vehicle, multiple people. Um, spells from four people. Yeah, so, like anything. so yeah, you guys have multiple actions. This is, we're not in the... Maybe like the boat race. Like, you had... Somebody that was able to cast, somebody that was able to attack, somebody that... You have a driver throw. that's basically, that's what they're doing. Okay. Um, you have, if you have Xenos with you, he can cast spells off of the ship. Um, depending on the modifications that you choose, you could have weapons that uh, another character that could 12, use. Right? Okay. Use of. What's your um, my if you have yeah, like 11, no. multiple vehicles no, um, that you guys are manning, then... Um, no. You have more shots to win, but you have less 14. opportunity oh, to do that <laughs> by actions okay. per yeah. per turn. Um, you also so uh, one other person that you see, uh, you see this um, this tiefling with uh, red skin and horns that you recognize. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it Vasiago? Yeah, it is Vasiago. Vasiago. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Where have you been? I have your 180 gold. Fantastic. I'm doing much better now. He comes to get the gold from me. I'm pretty sure he'd also ask for the full 200. Hold on. Yeah. You know what? It's actually on the ship. The ship is here? Yeah. Where are we? <laughs> We're on an island. We're on Lorath. Oh. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, how did you get here? You know, I don't really remember, but... I've had those nights before. I appeared through a portal, I think. Weren't you with the I saw the a Beholder. Sage? Have you seen the Beholder? Oh, yeah. Lord Rundine. Yeah, big purple guy. Yeah. He said that I have to win the race to get out of here. And By I said... worldly beauty to behold. <laughs> <laughs> and I said... Charisma I don't... Check. That's so much better. Ten. <laughs> Ten. 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 I didn't fall down. Um, so when you do that, um, you you see the camera turn red for a second, and then <laughs> is that good? I don't know. It's it's a like. <laughs> okay. You got Perfect. one like. <laughs> um, so yeah, Vaziago says I don't. I, I you know the crazy thing is I jumped through a portal and I don't really remember. So are you anything. here by yourself? Uh, no, uh, Craig's with me. There's Craig over there. Oh. Hey, Craig, come hey, over here. Hey, Craig. <laughs> it's Sarsarel. And Sarsarel, uh, Craig's like, what? Who, who are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. The, you're, you're the chosen I've champion of Umberly. I've seen you around. Yeah. Yeah. I would you're that so. half-elf. I saved your life. You did? Yeah, I did. Okay. When you had arrows sticking out of you? Oh, yeah. That was me. You're with that Xenos guy. He has my book. 
Okay. He's <laughs> upstairs. Is Xenos here? He I don't know. He went into a hole in the ground with the beholder, so. Oh. Uh, you think he's still alive? Well, I mean, it's it possible. seemed like he wasn't going to be killed if if uh, Cirque and his pet bear won the fight. Wait, everyone's the ogre, here? So. Yeah, the whole How crew. How did you guys get here? On a boat, on the Tempest Temptress. Can we leave with you? Uh, well, we got to talk to <laughs> Rundines about... Merging our party or something, I guess, because oh. we're supposed to win the race. Yeah, we're supposed to win the race. Eh, have you already had a race, or? Uh, no. Oh, no, okay. there hasn't been a race since we got here. Oh, perfect. So maybe it's not too late to just let them know that we're all one team. Okay. I don't... do. We. There'd only be... It, the only way to get us on one team is to get on one of those big ones. Yeah. And he points over, and it looks like a... Like a mass transit bus oh that looks perfect yeah that, i, think I that, don't know the first thing the knolls are using so. one of those i assume the bigger the better right oh, so I mean, we just kill all the knolls and uh, what if i get on the nose crew then you'd be with the knolls what if we the what if we just win the race you'd have to fight duskhide for <clears throat> leadership of the knolls. i asked dario what does oh, it take to, yeah. to pilot one of these oh you just get in it's super easy i mean we can teach you how to do oh, that perfect um, you just get in and take some lessons. Go like this. <laughs> go like this. Is there a tutorial? <laughs> we have a virtual tutorial. Oh, perfect. So right. We don't want you crashing <laughs> the battle carts before you get into the race. I mean, that that would cause extra repairs, or yes, the battle cart could be damaged. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. It should be fine. All right. Um, just I've... out of curiosity, before we get too far into this, does anybody have? Um, a uh, vehicle proficiency other than water vehicle proficiency. No, nope. why would we? I do not. Yeah, no. what? Okay. Well, we're lucky we get on the freaking boat. Yeah, you get on the boat. There is no. Uh, there's regular vehicle proficiency if you're a soldier, but I don't know what if would there's the regular other vehicle proficiency cart. Be? Like cart. Yeah. So no. <laughs> right. So that's fine. You just get your. You just get a plus two, if you're. Because you get a proficiency. Bonus. Yeah, you get your proficiency bonus. I is it dexterity or? Uh, it's dex or int. Dex or int, okay. Yeah. Well, I have a plus one int and a plus zero dex. So, so you should drive. I'm not That's your thing, isn't it? Necessarily. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no. No. Like no. No. Uh, it, it, when I level, it'll be 16. That's, it'll go that's up. Fine. So it'll be a three. Yeah. Huh? I'm at Boom. a three now without. I'm at a three. Boom. My spot. But my strength will be 20. Well, that's just plain. Strength. That's his thing. That's his, my thing. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's kind of how I roll with the so, whole wisdom um, thing. And the uh, 18 con eight So eventually, you guys can get back together. Okay. Um, Vaziago walks with you. Um, hey. is, is that Vaziago? <laughs> oh, hey. We come back. Hey, guys. Back to live, like, we're, we're like, we're, like Vaziago and Craig come back with Sarsen. Where the hell did you find him? I show Vaziago and Craig the code to get into the door. Thumbs up. What, what did you do to do? When you do it, it doesn't work. Oh, dang it. It's something with the... The metal? The metal. The, the so metal you dwarves. Need to cut off a metal hand of the dwarf and then put that code Dar in. That might work, maybe. Probably not, though. Dario's like, um, not mine. No. No, 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 no. You're going to need my hands yeah, to... Yeah, absolutely. Do the... Absolutely. Do the repairs. <laughs> the, the what? Oh, the battle cart. What battle cart? The thing that you're going to be racing. What? We're racing a what? <laughs> well, we have no idea. Have you told them nothing? Well, I assumed that they had paid attention to everybody that they were talking to about <laughs> the race. <laughs> well, we know about the race. So I just, I just went down and saw the carts. I didn't know we had a cart. They're like these mechanical Oh, yeah. Things. You want to go see the cart? Let's go see the cart. We have a cart. Oh, my God. It's I me. I want to go see the goddamn cart. Dario. Oh, I'm going to go find the dragon. You're going to go find the, oh, the dragon I'm going to go find the dragon board. Okay. Alpha Zane? Yeah, Alpha Zane. I've mentioned his name several times. Yeah, write well, it down. maybe I might write it down this time. <laughs> <laughs> Third time is a try. What are you going to go do with the dragon board, Frank? Where's he at? Where does he hang out? He oh, hangs out in the tavern. Oh, I lost mine in the so, uh, spell books. He, walk, gonna... he wanders around a little bit, but you'd find him in the tavern. I'll this. find him in the tavern. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say... Um, so, do you just... Do you do anything special around here other than 
escort people to and from? Um, if things need to be dealt with and um, Lord Rundines is busy, um, generally me and Rotka take care of it. Cool. Have you seen or any, Herb. Have you come across any fern bogs in your travels? Oh. Hmm. Like you? I'm a fur bog, yes. Okay. Uh, like a Wookiee. People keep saying that. I don't <laughs> know what the hell that is. Uh, you know, I've seen pictures of them. Uh, Rundines has uh, some some images that he can project downstairs in mm -hmm. his lair. Um, I have not come across any of your kind. No. I might one get into the favor of Lord Rundai to at least so you have to be hang out with you or serve with you or do something like that. Oh, you wanna you wanna join Lord Rundines? I'm thinking about it. Oh. Um, Survival what? of the fittest. He uh, he says, <laughs> well, I mean, you if you can if you can win the cup, uh, Lord Rundines What's pretty that? much grants people whatever the winner chooses. Well, if I could win the cup, I'm probably going to get the hell off this island. This island isn't very natural. Oh, it doesn't right. quite work for me. Gave me but <laughs> the options are to stick around. If yeah. I don't have an option, then I'd stick around. Then I'd prefer to. Well, win if you room. don't, if if you don't win, you could offer your services <laughs> to him. So. Okay. <laughs> cool. If you need anything, if you find that you need something, need some help with something, let me know. Okay. That was a good trick. I have my days. <laughs> I've got to get to some weeds or at least a bush or something. There, there is. Crap. So at the, <laughs> at, at the edge of the settlement, there is uh, plant life. Uh, oh, that's where I'm headed. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely don't. It doesn't look natural. Yeah. There's nothing I'm, about this. I mean, it, it looks natural, but it's not a, na a nature that you are familiar yeah. with. So I'm going to actually spend some time. Just kind of looking and studying the nature that is this island. Okay. Um, just kind of get a feel for, you know, the soil, mm -hmm. the trees, mm -hmm. the plants, and stuff like that. It is very uh, jungle, um, and it is mixed with um, plant life that that you would be unfamiliar with. Okay. But most, for the most part, it is jungle. Okay. Uh, so for the plants that I'm not that I'm not familiar with, just kind of looking at them. You know, healing yeah. properties. There are some healing properties you definitely like see as you're kind of watching. Um, you see, the most interesting thing you see is uh, a small uh, metallic creature mm -hmm. that's scurrying along through the underbrush and then gets grabbed by some by like a vine and then stuck into uh, the mouth of a, a plant mm -hmm. and then spit back out um, when it realizes that it can't eat um, the creature. So uh, I'm actually going to cast speak it's with a, animal Okay, on that creature. On the plant or on the creature that it tried to eat? Creature? The creature tried to eat. It is, is, not, a natural, is not an animal. It is not an animal. No. No. Is a, you would, so we would know it is a robot. It's about the size of you. Um, it's bipedal. It's got a little... Um, so well, I can tell that it's not, it's not arms. natural. Then I'll, um... It's got one central big eye. I can describe this because I'm not using any imagery that would be copyrighted. <laughs> uh, it's got one central eye and it's got a long tail. It looks kind of like a dinosaur, but, um, but it's metallic. it's a robot dinosaur. Yeah, it's a okay. robot dinosaur. All right. Okay. Cool. And it just <laughs> looks at you as you cast the spell and it kind of moves its head like this and then it <laughs> runs off into the... Okay. All right. All right. Cool. So, um, anything else you guys want to do? Well, after six hours. After down. six <laughs> hours. <laughs> this way, after 17 first, hours. First, what happens, Xenos finds Identify. So I copy that one down because yes. clearly that's necessary. Clearly. And then I stumble across Misty Step. Which oh. seems very useful. It does seem very So useful. I copy that one down. Okay. And just past Misty Step in the book uh -huh. is Locate Object. And then Xenos gets an idea. Oh. I'm going to copy down Locate Object. Okay. And memorize the book I'm holding. Oh, okay. So that I can then <laughs> cast Locate Object, locating this book to come back. Okay. Because I know it's within, not too, it's within a thousand feet of the garage, I hope. I don't know your spells. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's in enough. Okay, right that's, so that's, that's kind of neat. Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty. That's Xenos' plan. So 10 hours, finish that, and then... 10 hours? It's a total of 10 by the time I copy it down to three spells. That's so awesome. six hours, then it's... A, well, it's what happens. Just one more. We're going to start placing bets in the bar. Right, the bet house. Xenos actually does come back. Okay. So, so I'm like, you must have found some magic book um, or something. The, the, uh, the... the camera that's with you flashes like a uh, green a red and a yellow uh-huh. and you get the sense that it's trying to signal you um and why don't you make an insight check all right uh that would be uh 12. so you would get the sense that green means you're okay yellow means uh you need something red means you're ready to go okay so it does this probably every hour. Okay. So that you can tell it when it's time to go. Yeah, basically. Okay. So That's very nice. Yeah. So I guess I tell it um, red when I get to, when I finish. When you finish your Locate topic. object. And I say, all right, now I've got a plan on how to come back. Okay. Put the book away after I'm okay. pretty sure I know what it looks like. A short while later, Brundite comes you have an amazing uh, collection. I know, right? I'd love to come back here and spend more time just looking. I, I would never take anything without permission. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, you should probably roll it. <laughs> All right, good point. Yeah, I would I wouldn't, never take I wouldn't take anything from that. you without permission with all the cameras around. And that's that a, is, that a, is a lot of qualifiers. That's a that's 20 <laughs> deception. Wow, it's still a deception. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's why there are bets at the bar right now. Yep. <laughs> Whether he's going to do something yeah, to I'm, get I'm his ass to with all the knolls and the two guys over in the corner <laughs> and the bartender. He does say uh, that is a lot of qualifiers. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to let you live because I, I like you, tiny, uh, tiny human creature. Thank you're, you. You're a human, right? Uh, close enough. All right. All right, come with me, human child. And he <laughs> lifts you out. Do you resist? No, no, no. I, I like the flying thing now. I mean, if he's right. going to kill me, I'd be dead, dead already. That's so. true. Uh, he <laughs> would have just let you go at the top of the shaft, and then you'd have splatted right. on the bottom. So, yeah. I'll, um, I'll Superman out of here. So, yeah, you guys come up the tube. Uh, he he joins. <laughs> he basically just drops you off at the top and then goes right. back down. Um, and you walk your, You make it into the bar. Yep. At the, about the time that you... Make it into the bar. Well, you've been gone for 10 hours. So these guys have rested. Go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. It's morning. Um, <laughs> all right. That would be... I prepared some new spells um, for today. <laughs> that's a 21. Okay. So you're you're tired, but you're not exhausted. Um, so... Uh, Jiminy, I found all this cool stuff. At this point, uh, the people have started to pay off the bets. Um, when... When Xenos walks in, oh yeah, there's a there's a collective like, two people go, yeah, yeah. And everybody else goes, oh ah. damn it, ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, including Sir, like, that's <laughs> yeah. never doubt your captain. <laughs> I didn't doubt that you were going to die. <laughs> that's doubting me. No, I was gonna come back alive. I trusted you to steal something. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I did. You guys can share. Um, what you know okay. about um, everything. <laughs> and. Did you know we have a cart? Yeah, I was gonna tell you about it. Yeah. So I made this deal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> In another so, he wasn't gone long so enough for us to make a couple guys on the side of the bar go, yay! And other people go, gah! <laughs> More money is changing hands. <laughs> so, um, Xenos lays out the deal, the terms of the deal, um, that we've got to win this race, to leave, and by the way, if we do a really good job winning the race. But that sounds like the same deal that everybody already told us. Yeah, but we can get treasure. Kind of seems like... No, 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 no one else is getting treasure. We're going to get treasure. So, sure. Because we're going to do this with style. Those two guys are a team, right? Let's kill them. <laughs> the Knolls are a team. Let's the kill them. Are a team. Okay. You uh, So as you rested overnight, you would have been escorted to the barracks. Um, there is another group of humans, uh, and then there is a large group of goblins uh, led by Because you could fit, like, for every one human spot, you could fit, like, five goblins in the same space. Yeah. <laughs> Just about, I'm yeah. sorry. Um, like... when, I, when I told you that the, um, the gnolls 
were in one of the one battle of bus the, things. One of the, yeah, the bus. Um, they are not. The goblins, the goblins are. are okay. and the gnolls are in something else. They're okay. a big truck. They're, it's a flatbed cart. Thank you very much. Oh. It's completely different than a pickup truck. <laughs> But it's gonna look just oh. like like an orc pickup. redneck nose <laughs> for more. <laughs> yeah, it is Good. very very similar. Um, <laughs> so um, Dario says, if you would like to pick out your cart at this point, uh, one, you guys are gonna have to if you all together, you're gonna have to be in a uh, suicide tube, is what we call them. Um, but if you're you guys can have multiple um, vehicles. Vehicles. Uh, the <clears throat> downside of that is um, the winning team gets to choose what they get. Wait. So. If the the winning team gets to leave, so what happens if we they divide get to, up? They get to choose. They don't have to leave if they want to leave. But when you say winning team. If we have multiple vehicles, each vehicle counts as its own team for the purposes of winning or losing? Correct. Yeah. And if, uh, should you choose uh, to have multiple vehicles in the race, um, the winner could choose to leave uh, with, the, with the group of you. Oh, okay. Hmm. So if we had two vehicles as long if as that one is of what the vehicles you, won. That is, if that is what you choose. I'm not sure that I like that. Yeah. So we could have multiple vehicles win, and then if one no. of the winners you can't no, have multiple vehicles if, win. If one of the multi, one of our multiple vehicles wins, mm -hmm. that winning team can say the entire group gets to leave. Yes, Correct. or they could say just their particular vehicle. Gets so to leave. Remington cannot be on one of the teams. Yeah, very clearly, <laughs> Remington is is not interested in racing. So it's just our team. We split up between so like a couple of us. So can we just choose to leave Remington here? <laughs> If we win, I'm pretty sure I I've already so, given yeah. him to the Knolls. <laughs> I think you did, yeah. So, all right. So, it seems pretty. Do we want to do two taste. vehicles? He's gonna and three garbage. people in each vehicle. Three people in each vehicle. Well, this... do we trust Faziago? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's a T4. He hasn't lied to you so far. I'll ride with Faziago. I'm pretty sure he's lied to me about speaking <laughs> dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I'll ride with Faziago. <laughs> Okay. So, um, well, Frank, guys, at then. the end of the uh, table, there is a list of uh, rules. Mm -hmm. um, not the sailing rules, but there is uh, groups of uh, rules that are, yeah, that are clipped together. Okay. Um, so, why don't you hand me one of those? And I can hand these out to, I think I made enough for everybody to have okay. one. Um, you actually sent this to us. I did not send the pedals to the metal. You stuff. didn't? I thought you did. Uh, I don't think so. So um, let's take a look at okay. the um, for for the viewers at home. Uh, this is a conversion of Wizards of the Coast's fourth edition pedal to the metal for Gamma World. Um, I will not be posting this anywhere because it is not my content. Um, I just converted it to fifth edition. I'm happy to discuss with anybody who asks what my conversion is. Um, most people can see the, the fourth edition stuff on it when they look at it, like the bloodied hit point value. So you can see here, um, uh, we've got a motorcycle option, a battle cart option, a flatbed cart. The flatbed cart would hold all or six a, of us. Or a suicide tube. Um, yeah, so it, it would. <clears throat> there are options. For both, um, there is a speed for each. Mm -hmm. um, the motorcycle is obviously the fastest, the battle cart next fastest, the flatbed cart, and then the suicide tube is the slowest. Um, on the back side of the vehicle's handout, there are augmentations. Um, you get a free augmentation when you start. Um, some of the augmentations are specific like uh you can't put a sidecar on um, <laughs> a truck on a truck Ooh, we it, need flame turrets um but uh That's for true. everything else um you can either make offensive or defensive ha enhancements um so i'm not going to make you choose now uh, but it would be helpful to me if we to, chose before the next session yeah so that we can kind of that's fair. Discuss that. Um, 
Uh, and also, if you want to do multiple vehicles, that would be helpful as well. Okay. Okay. And then driving is based on. Driving it's is based Dex on or Com, Dex, right? or Dex, Dex or Int. int that's right. And there are different um, stunts that you can do to increase your uh, combat capacity or um, defensive capacity or speed speed along. I think one of okay. them is okay. is access. This is, this is what we're going to do next week. We are going to do okay. this next week. Okay. So we'll so, um, deal with the race next week. Xenos right. will ride with somebody. Oh, really? Because I'm not going to be here. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to be here. That's unfortunate. Okay. Oh. All right. Maybe you could ride on my motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get to ride the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's your int? My int? Yeah. My int is 15, but my dex is 17. Oh, 17. Okay. And, and level everybody level. levels to four. So um, At this point? Yes, oh, before the race. You'll level to four. Um, cool. I don't know how deadly the race is, so I thought I'd level you up before the race. <laughs> well, I appreciate great. that. Yeah. You didn't die. I know. I didn't even get hit. Yeah. I got hit. I feel awesome. <laughs> he got messed up. <laughs> yeah, so as long as I don't get in combat, Crits no suck. problem. Yeah. Yeah, that plan. <laughs> that, that plan. It was a good plan. And I didn't fall off the lift. Totally good plan. <laughs> Which so was... I have to use the, the, the handrail. You uh, have Dario would be able to tell you because he has no vested interest in um, this. So it is not just a race. It is amazing race style where you have pit stops where a task has to be accomplished. Oh, nice. Um, Ooh, crap. And there are a number of pit stops. So just Those challenges. Yeah. Just being fast doesn't mean you're going to win. Right. It mm. is, so we're all going on the same vehicle. That way we can utilize our, all of our skills. I think that, that makes the, the most But if you have someone that slows you down, like the, the, all of the tasks have to be accomplished with the entire team finishing the task together. So if you have someone that specifically slows you down, having a large team is not going to be I super th advantageous. I think having, like, I'm thinking about going on a motorcycle with somebody. Okay. And then that team can then screw up with an oil slick the other teams. Right. And just but if slow we do down. a pit stop and that pits up, so if we do a pit stop that's anything intelligence based, you would be screwed. I could go with well, him. my my int's thirteen. This is not yeah. stuff. <laughs> You're not getting past the pit stop. Yeah, hey, maybe we'll it's... have to figure it out. We'll have to come up with a. Well, yeah, we'll we have, have to, to come team... up with some kind of plan. Yeah, we have to. Because I mean, no, I've no. got. We got to find out what Corbin and Vazia are going to do. Probably. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. int and charisma are my weakest. So also me. So, <laughs> for for this, everyone who is not a player character is going to go ahead and stay on the ship. Um, and they're just going to cheer you on and hope there. that you win so that they can leave the island eventually. So, um, and is Remington on the ship then, or is yeah. he? Yeah, he's because going to be on the ship. Because Vaziago's back, back old, so. holding cell or something. No, uh, he'll be on the ship. All right. So uh, with that, thank you, everyone. Um, we will see you next week. Same time, same place. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Good times. And we're...